U.S. Super Bowl goes through Philadelphia. It's the reigning Super Bowl champs and the Eagles on Sunday night. Take a drive from downtown along Broad Street and run into Lincoln Financial Field, the home of the Eagles here in South Philadelphia. Coming up, a terrific matchup to decide who represents the NFC in the Super Bowl. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. The George Hallis Trophy awaits the winner of this one as well as a spot in the Super Bowl. Thanks for being with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson with you. Greg, the anticipation's thick. Love this moment where we have a champion in the NFC crown on this field. A couple of teams don't like each other. What are you going to be watching for in this one, partner? Yeah, I think one of the coolest things about these conference championship games, Mike, is how well these two teams know each other. When you find yourself here in the NFC, you're playing not maybe every year, but you're playing each other a lot. You know their tendencies. You know the roster. Who will represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl? We're about to find out as off we go in the NFC title game. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So that Cowboy offense takes the field, ready to go to work for the first time. They are led out by their quarterback, Dak Prescott. This place is rocking right now, Mike. I mean, neither one of us can even hear each other speak. This crowd is certainly doing their part. They're trying to create as hostile of an environment as humanly possible to give their team the upper hand. And he's going to have to overcome this atmosphere if he's going to lead his team to the Super Bowl. This isn't going to be an easy task by any stretch of the imagination. But as long as he goes out there and he plays smart and aggressive, they're going to have a shot to fly back home as NFC champs. They'll get creative here on the jet sweep. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. Third and five. On the play fake. Dak. Oh, they are on him with a flash. And he's lost the football. Mike, we hear that term run catch so often and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase there's the catch but before it turns into a run you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier right it needs to be put away properly held points of pressure front tip up against your body all of that is kind of taken for granted catching it is just step one you've got to secure the ball before you become a runner so the Philadelphia offense set to take over for the first time They'll be led out by a young man who's making a name for himself, their rookie quarterback. These are the type of games, Mike, where you can become a legend, not only for your franchise, but to the entire city. His play throughout the year has helped them get to the point where the NFC Championship is taking place in their stadium. And if he's able to continue to play at that high level over these next four quarters, his team's going to have a real shot to end the weekend as NFC champions. Back to the air once more on second deck. And that one incomplete. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. Even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. On fourth down, it's Jake Elliott time for the Eagles. This one will be from 37 yards out. Elliott's kick is good. And the Eagles will take a 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. And he'll bring it out to the 22-yard line. That's where the offense will take the field. The Cowboys offense ready to get going with their second possession. Dak can throw it here on first down. 
That's to the left side. He's got Ferguson. Give him 14 on that play. One play, one first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. His first catch of this NFC Championship game, good enough for a first down. Shotgun snap for Prescott. Uh, nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. What do the coaches say? Just play the next play. That's exactly what they did. Two times they've connected on this drive now. This one for 21 yards and a first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. Second down, Prescott. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. He might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. To the air again, Prescott. Really nice job here, not only avoiding the rush on third down, but quickly finding that crease, get downfield, and he's able to pick up the first down. First and 10. From the shotgun, it's down. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they had a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. And this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Now a second down throw for Prescott. He's got his man, Peoples Jones. That's how to dig yourself out of the hole. A pickup of 18, much more manageable. Third and two, coming up. And movement up front. And that's our first time tonight to check in with our referee. down Prescott and that is incomplete just a couple plays ago Mike it felt like a touchdown was kind of inevitable they were doing everything they wanted as they marched the length of the field and then as they got down here close to the red zone and that field condenses they started getting sloppy in their execution now what do they do on fourth down did they try to keep their offense out there and extend the drive or do they settle for three and that's really well done here, Mike. I mean, everything's in rhythm. A good snap, a good hold, and a good kick ties this game. So the field goal ties things up, and we're back at it as this kicks away. The return starts from the five. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The home team's offense ready for their second possession. They'll set out in search of a first touchdown in this game. Just a pair of field goals to show. It's 3-3 as they start first and 10. And how about that back? Bull dozing his way forward. A gain of nine yards. Second and a yard. Brings up second and one. 
He'll drop the throw. To the tight end, and he fits it in on the corner run. And they'll have it across midfield, down at the opposing 46-yard line. Rookie for Michigan State looking sharp on that throw. It's a first down. Now a run on first down. And he's fighting to get free. A lot of work there for a game of three. Second and seven. Brings up second and seven. They'll look to throw. Look at that pick. Sling it across his body and connected. And he is taken down. A big gain on that one. Great way for them to end this opening quarter. One quarter down, three to go on the road to the Super Bowl. All even on the scoreboard. And we're back in Philly in a moment. Five yards from the house. They've got it first and goal. Back to throw. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. This one caught at the four. And he's in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jake Elliott for the extra point. He's got it. And the Eagles take a 10-3 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field. Just the lone field goal for them so far. Down 10-3 in this one. And they'll start first and 10. They'll run. This is Jalen Warren. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. They'll stay on the ground with Warren. And the defense all over this one. They knock them down. It'll go down as a loss of two. The speed and the get off by the big interior defensive tackle. Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Third down and nine. from the gun. Here's Dak. And that is incomplete. He was trying to get it to C.D. Lamb. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Cowboys special teams unit heads out for the punt. As he is on to kick it away. That is fielded at the 20. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Back to throw here to begin the drop. That's complete to his big tight end, Dallas Goddard. begin here on the ground 
And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. And a good job rallying to the football, holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. He'll look to throw. He's got his man down the field. It is a big completion. And how about that? Third and a mile. And they convert and pick up a first down. Well, he certainly didn't look like a rookie on that long completion, Mike. Not only his ability to scan the field and find his favorable matchup, but he was able to hit his downfield target in the perfect spot that led to that big game. To the ground, a first down run. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Set to go now on first and 10. First and 10 at the 31 yard line. Now they'll set up to throw. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Brings up second and seven at the 28-yard line. The throw the RPO to Goddard. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Here's third down and a few inches. Motioning one of the tight ends. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tap on three and extend their lead. This is fielded inside the five. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. Now the return man is a bit slow getting up after that kick. Concern on that sideline here in this NFC Championship game. They'll start this on the ground with Warren. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. Here's a second and 12. To throw is Dak. Off he goes. So the Eagles will use their first time out here. from the gun on third down. Left side, caught by Lamb. From the 35, it's first and 10. Prescott now. He'll get this complete. It's Lamb again. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Prescott on first down. This one finds Peoples-Jones. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. Great pre-snap recognition here by the quarterback. He looks outside and sees man coverage, and he knows exactly where he's going to go with the ball. Now it's up to the receiver to create separation at the top of the route. Ball's on time, great placement, nice big pickup. 
So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll throw again. Dak. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Following the play, we have an eagle who is shaken up. Concern on that sideline here in this NFC Championship game. He'll try again here. Second and ten. Again, Prescott to the air. Quick throw taken in. And the Cowboys are going to be set up. First and goal. He's out of bounds at the six-yard line. Prescott again. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Two incomplete passes now lead to this third down and goal. To the air again. Prescott. That one taken in. Middle of the end zone. Brandon Cooks. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. This taken at the five. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The home team's offense going to get it one final time in this first half. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. Right away, they'll set up to throw. Going downfield, right side, and it's caught. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. To the air net on first and 10. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. A game there of 11. Good for an Eagles first down. Now the Eagles will use the last of their timeouts. Here's Jake Elliott now to try the field goal. This will be just inside 60, a 59-yard field goal attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will stay a three-point game. So, we've hit halftime here in the NFC Championship game. As we'll head down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our but EA first, Sports. Let's look back to the NFC Championship game Coach. held earlier today. And it's the Baltimore Ravens are heading back to the Super Bowl as they await the winner of this NFC Championship game. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very Both level teams first half, to be the and I expect to, to see more of the same after the break. Quarter number three of the NFC title game underway. And he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line. The home team's offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They'll start it here with a first and 10. Receiver in motion, headed left. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. The veteran Eric Hendricks on the stop. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. 
He'll drop to throw. A short throw taken in by Goddard. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try to get this one on the ground. And he'll be brought down, but what a run. Down to the 40. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. Concern on that sideline here in this NFC Championship game. Receiver in motion. Going right. They fake the jet sweep and will hand it up the middle. And a strong first down run. A pickup of nine. Setting up second and short. It's a game of nine. Brings up second and a yard. At the Cowboys. Bill look to throw. The throw here is complete. And the whistle him down, but not before he picks up the first down. After a gain of seven. to throw and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete what a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it'll be second down blitz coming he'll throw it that is brought in at the 10 and he will get into the end zone Dallas Goddard touchdown Eagles you can just see the comfort, Mike, that this offense continues to play with. The early momentum in the first half has carried here after the break, and you can see this group just slowly starting to pull away. And I'm thinking, Greg, about the guys on the other side. You're waiting at halftime. That other offense waiting to get back on the field. What happens? They come right out, extend the lead, and now the task gets a lot tougher for this second half. Elliott, good on the extra point. And the Eagles will extend this third quarter lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here comes a return. Now on the return, he has lost the football. Special teams has come up with the recovery, and he's going to take it in for the touchdown. Whoa! Have a friend in the right spot at the right time. The fumble, not a turnover, but a TD. And he'll take it back for the touchdown. What a tremendous mistake there. You want to secure the ball and give it to your offense, not give it up to the other team for a touchdown. Yeah, and I think this is the fine line that all kick returners face, Mike. I think they all want to be impact players. When they get the ball in their hands, they think every play can be six. But sometimes you got to know when it's over. You've got to make sure at the end of this play, my offense is able to take the field and maintain possession. In this case, not only do you turn it over, you give them a quick touchdown on the other side. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This field in at about the nine. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin then. The Cowboys offense make their way out to take over once more. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback. Oh, he's kept behind the line, and the ball. And as you can see with that fumble, Mike, it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball. And they talk about the points of pressure. And the biggest thing really, Mike, is you want the front tip of the ball, the part where your fingers cover, to always be higher than the back tip of the ball. So often you see that front tip go down, and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out. So you want pressure against the outside of the ball, both tips, the inside of the ball, and then keep that front point up. They'll come up here first and 10. Back to throw here to begin the drop. That's a short one, caught by Goddard. 
and he'll be taken down. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. First and goal at the eight-yard line. He'll look to throw. Adds to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. That is caught in the middle of the end zone. Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Philadelphia. He is shining in this postseason spotlight. That's his second touchdown of the game. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready to take over as we check out the playoff race in the NFC. Dak can throw it here on first down. And he'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. A throw on the move is caught. Just take what the defense is giving you. And you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath pitch routes, quick game. Now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. He's got a receiver, and that's Lamb. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. That'll be caught by the running back, Warren. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. An injured player down there. And that's the man they can't afford to lose. It is indeed Dak Prescott. Now, faking the give. That's to the left side. He's got Ferguson. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. They'll run straight ahead with Warren. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. Throwing. Dobbs. A short throw caught by Ferguson. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. On the zone read, they hand it to Warren. He won't gain a lot of traction there. Down only to the 24. Here's second and nine. Once again, it's Warren. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. throw now a deep ball toward the end zone that is caught what a throw cd lamb touchdown dallas now dobbs gonna get his guys set for this two-point conversion 
The Cotton Reds will line up for the two-point conversion. Now they'll set up to throw. And he will get in for the two. They open up the bag of tricks on the goal line and add a pair of points. Mike, I think all of us can remember exactly where we were during a certain Super Bowl where throwing the ball this close to the goal line ended up being a disaster. But unlike that time, they ran this pass play to perfection, and the result, two points. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Now return, coming from the seven. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. Here's first and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. That one intercepted. Picked off by Deron Black. I think you chalk this one up, Mike, to just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. The key is how fast can these rookie quarterbacks turn the page, move on, and not make the same mistake again. There's C.D. Lamb heading back out there with the rest of his Cowboys teammates. They can get back into this quickly now. Very short field ahead. It is first and ten. Now a give to Warren. Running right. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. It'll be a pickup of ten. First down. Cowboy. First down. From the shotgun, it's Dak. He'll get this one to his safety valve. Complete. Two nice play calls here to kick off the drive. 15 more on that one. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game but so far off to a good start. Design run. They let him keep it. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Second down. Prescott. He'll check this down to the running back. And he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. Prescott on third and two. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Now Prescott. That is incomplete. They took a chance throwing it on fourth and short, but not to be. And they'll turn it over on down. So the offense finds themselves in a tough situation. They're down by two scores late in this game. They know this is a prime opportunity. They need to play for a touchdown. And instead, the defense makes a huge stand 
and they got a chance now to close this game out. His drive will start on the ground. Just refusing to go down, he winds up with a gain of seven. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. Concern on that sideline here in this NFC Championship game. Quick throw, taken in, and it'll be taken down. The game is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. the gun. Here's a handoff. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. His throw left side is complete. And he'll be brought down up past the 35-yard line. They get 15 on that game. First down, Philadelphia. So often we see a team that's milking a two-score lead get very conservative, especially in the fourth quarter, but not this coach. He says, all right, I might have a two-score lead, and I want to make it three. He's trying to put as much pressure on his opponent as possible here down the stretch late. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. He'll drop to throw. That's to the right side, caught by Scott. And nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. Here's a third down and four. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Here comes the Eagles punt team. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. The Cowboys, the Cowboys offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They need to start making some inroads here. Down two scores as they begin this drive with first down. Left side caught by Lamb. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. That's to the sideline and intercepted. Picked up by Cooper DeGene. You know, Mike, anytime a team can go nickel or dime and come off the field with an interception, I just am constantly reminded the importance of defensive back depth when you're building an NFL roster. I mean, think back. This is not the old NFL base 3-4, base 4-3. Offenses are going to roll out two, three, four high-level wide receivers at you in this pass-first modern era. If you can't roll out five DBs and all of them hold their own and be trusted to hold up, you are going to struggle defending these pass-first modern offenses. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. They send a receiver in motion left. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. He'll get this inside the 20 and nice run. They're in the red zone. It's first down. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. Encroachment from defense. Still first down. 
So a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Throwing now from the gun. Oh, that may be the break they needed. That one's intercepted. Picked off by Deron Black. And he's going to be taken down, but there are one, two, three flags on the field. I don't think this is going to stand. So now then, first and goal from the one. They'll send a tight end in motion. They'll try to run this one in. Powering forward. He's in. Touchdown, Eagle. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. The extra point by Elliott is good. And the Eagles will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This will be returned from the six. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Prescott. To the outside, looked in by Lamb. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. He's going to be out of bounds, but he's got the first down. A pickup of eight. A shotgun snap for Prescott. Checking it down. This one is caught. Out breaking routes, Mike, especially. And now the referee looks like he has gotten word from replay that he stopped the game inside the last two minutes. All replays emanate from there. So that is what you want. You know sometimes it takes time, but they do get it right. And this call will stand. Pass brought in by Ferguson. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. They'll throw again, Dak. In the middle of the field, it's taken by C.D. Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Again, Prescott to the air. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. To the air again, Prescott. Pass completed right side to Ferguson. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Prescott again. There's that man again, another catch. Cowboys going to use their third and final timeout. They'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in this one. Well, it wasn't the most exciting throw of the day, but I want you to watch, Mike, is the suddenness of the route runner. Change of speed, change of direction. Those are the qualities of great route runners, and this guy's certainly one of them. On second down, it's Dak. He's got it at the three. And this is going to be a touchdown. It's too little too late. We do get a bit closer as they score here in the final minute of play. Prescott leading the Cowboys to the line for this two-point drop. The Cowboys will line up for the two-point conversion. Back to throw. That is caught, and they get the two-point conversion. Everything's about matchups, especially down here this close to the goal line. I think my guy's better than your guy. I'm going to put him in a position to have success, throw it up to him, and let him do the rest.
This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Illegal touching. Offense. This is tough. You're trying to give your guys a chance and time it just right, but you have to hit it hard enough. This time, it doesn't go 10 yards. Not going to work out. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. in two weeks in Santa Clara for Super Bowl 60. Until then, enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs>